It says the webinar is now live. So I guess if Hoggy, you want to go ahead and start yours. You are muted. All right. So share your screen and do your presentation. All right, so All right, so my name is Mahogany Gals, and I am the Assistant Director of Admissions at Coker University. Um, I work primarily with our traditional day transfer veteran and international student populations. Um, just a little background information on Coker. Um, we were founded in 1908. We are a private liberal arts institution, and we are located in Hartsville, South Carolina. Um, just to kind of give you an idea, we're about an hour away from Columbia and about an hour and a half away from Charlotte. Um, we offer bachelor and master degrees. Um, we have well over 50 programs of study, including our dance program, criminology program, and our business administration programs. Those are three of our top programs here. Um, and we participate in Division II NCAA, um, the South Athletic Conference. Um, we have about 1,100 undergraduate students um, with an average class size of 10. We are a nationally recognized institution. Um, we are known as one of the best regional universities in the South. Um, one of the best value uh, schools and regional universities in the South and one of the best Southeastern schools. Um, we pride ourselves on our um, round table learning. This particular learning approach is a method that fosters engagement, dialogue and discussion um, with your peers and other faculty um, members as well. You'll see in a lot of our classrooms, the, the actual oval table. table. Um, and so like, again, it's, it's encouraging open discussion and dialogue um, throughout your time here at Coker. We have a variety of traditions and activities that our students um, uh, participate in. Our student government association in particular is pretty heavily involved in our um, in the Hartsfield community, engaging in um, community service and learning opportunities. Students have the opportunity to study away. Um, actually, this is a requirement to study away. It can be either a weekend intensive or a semester long study abroad. We have uh, over 30 student organizations. And some of our traditions include our late night breakfast, homecoming, our students are known to hang out at the boathouse and participate in uh, volleyball, crew racing, and canoeing. All right, so in regards to transferring to Coker, our application process is fairly simple. Apply online, we don't have an application fee, and we don't require an essay. We ask that you submit all of your college transcripts, as well as your final high school transcript for admission. Our transfer standard, um, we want you to have at least a 2.0 GPA and 30 transferable credit hours. Now, many students we know they may, after, graduate, after they graduate from high school, they may take a semester or two at a, um, a local uh, technical institution. In that case, you may not have the 30 transferable credit hours. Um, and so you'll see that we will require that your GPA is a little bit higher. So if you fall within that 20 to 29 credit hour range, we want you to have a 2.5 GPA. If you fall within that 12 and 19 credit hour range, a 2.75. Now, even if you don't have um, at least the, you know, what we're, we're asking for, we still make a special admissions considerations, so we still encourage you to apply. 
all of our transfer students are eligible for an academic merit scholarship. Um, this is not a one tax um, a first year stack. This is, um, these are renewable scholarships for up to two years. Um, that academic scholarship ranges from $7,500 to $15,000. Um, and so it's gonna be based on your cumulative GPA. So the higher your GPA, the more money you'll get. They also have um, opportunities for athletic scholarships, our talent scholarship. This consists of like dance. Um, we have a theater program, a voice program. Um, an acrobatics and tumbling program. We even have a new esports program as well. So, if any of you are interested in esports, um, this is a, another opportunity for you. We have our alumni scholarship, our Coker Achievement Scholarship, which I'll talk to you a little bit more when I get to the bridge. And then we have the South Carolina Tuition Grant. If you are a um, if you are a South Carolina resident and you attend a private school. Um, you are eligible for the South Carolina tuition grant and this year the grant is um, it, it increased from $3,400 to $3,600. Uh, Access Coker is a new initiative. Well, it's a it's a uh, one of our newest initiatives um, where we provide free iPads and free iPencils to new students. We have since um, expanded this initiative and so this uh, uh, Transfer students are uh, will also receive a free iPad and um, iPencil to use throughout their educational um, time here at Coker, and you can use it for both educational and personal use. All right, so we do have uh, several uh, bridge partnerships with our uh, technical schools within the state of South Carolina and one even in North Carolina. Um, these programs are true two plus two programs. Um, <clears throat> which allows students who earn their associate degrees um, in an applicable major from any of these institutions to transfer directly um, into Coker, into one of Coker's bachelor degree programs. Um, these are true cost savers um, and students also have the option to engage in learning opportunities in a variety of formats. So students can take the traditional NC route. Um, they can take classes in the evening online and we even have a hybrid format. So it's a mixture of the online and the in seat. Um, any associate degree graduate from any of our bridge partner um, institutions will receive an uh, achievement scholarship of up to $2,000 a year to offset tuition. So for instance, <clears throat> Florence Darlington Tech is located in Florence, South Carolina. So any um, associate grad, uh, any uh, uh, graduate from the marketing management, criminal justice and human services programs, they can take their degree, their uh, credits, have all of those credits transfer into either our business administration, criminology, or psychology program. So these are some wonderful opportunities. If um, any students are interested in our bridge programs and they are interested in attending any of these technical institutions, um, to find more information, you can um, go to our website or you can um, send me an email you can even call or text me at the number below as well. Thank you. All right, good morning, everybody. I um, am Eric Chapman. I'm one of our assistant directors here uh, for USC Upstate in Spartanburg, South Carolina. And I'm very excited to be able to be a part of this panel. I know it's new for it's new for us panelists and it's new for you all out there as well in the virtual format. So I'm excited to be able to share this experience with you today. Um, I would like to start off just talking to you a little bit about USC Upstate uh, and our beautiful campus in Spartanburg. Um, USC Upstate is home to about 6,000 students and they're from 29 states and 14 different nations. So we have a really good population 
uh, of students from all over, uh, all different walks of life, and we're about 47% uh, minority students. Uh, we did have 4,200 applicants for fall of 2020, including freshmen, transfer, uh, non-degree seeking students. Um, and that's our total number. Um, with our uh, number of students and over 500 faculty members, we're able to keep our uh, student teacher ratio at 18 to one. Um, so that means that you're gonna get uh, a good interaction in the classroom with your professors, um, be able to have interaction with them. They're gonna know who you are. They're gonna know you by name. Uh, and you're gonna be able to get the attention that you need in the classroom as well as office hours uh, for them as well. Um, we've also been ranked number one among top public regional colleges in the South. And that's by the US News and World Report. Um, we're very excited about that ranking. That's a, that's a big one for us. Uh, and then we do have over 40 different majors and degree programs um, with the top three being nursing, business and education um, in our professional schools. And then shortly uh, after that, we've got exercise and sports science and criminal justice. Um, and those are probably our rounds out our top four or five programs. Um, but all of our programs are excellent, uh, just in the matter of people that are coming through those. That's where um, <clears throat> the popularity comes through. So we have a lot more nursing students than we do have for uh, biology students. We also have 15 Division I uh, sports programs and we're in the Big South Conference. And um, we're very competitive in that as well. Our top pro, uh, sports team is gonna be a, a basketball, of course. Uh, we don't have football. Columbia uh, has the football program. Um, but we do have excellent uh, uh, sporting events as well. And then we have 90 different student organizations. So there's tons of opportunities for you to get plugged in on campus uh, and, and feel like you're part of the university and really get into that Spartan atmosphere. Um, we also you know, know that you know, a lot of you guys out there are, are high school juniors, seniors, um, looking forward to going to school. I understand and we understand that a four-year university uh, is not the quickest and best option for everybody coming right out of school. Uh, so I do wanna highlight some of our uh, Direct Connect programs, bridge programs, and a little bit about our transfer process um, coming up next. So we do have a Direct Connect transfer program. Uh, that program uh, is essentially a bridge program with some of our partner institutions, which I'll tell you um, who those are on the next uh, slide. Uh, but just with getting started with our program, you'll submit an application to your chosen partner school um, that we partner with specifically for Direct Connect. And you'll complete an upstate Direct Connect application either with the person at your school that's over the Direct Connect program or with one of our transfer counselors directly. Uh, and then you'll pick up your uh, student identification card at USC Upstate. So being in our Direct Connect program versus being a transfer student, when you're in Direct Connect, you have, trans you have student access. So you can fully utilize our facilities, come to our sporting events, use our library, um, you'll essentially be an upstate student. You just can't stay on campus and you won't be um, going to classes on our campus. If you're just a regular transfer student, uh, you won't have access to those things um, at whatever school you're at. You won't have student access um, without the Direct Connect program. So those perks are attending those events, getting specialized and priority advisement um, prior to your entry to USC Upstate and having a seamless uh, transition into our programs. Um, once you're part of the Direct Connect program, once you're ready to transfer, all you'll do is apply to USC Upstate at least one semester prior to graduation. Um, if you decide to transfer earlier uh, prior to graduation, you just have to remain in the Direct Connect program for a year to have your uh, application fee waived. And all you'll do is provide your official transcripts from, uh, from your previous institution. The programs we specifically partner with um, are some of our more local ones, which would be Greenville Tech and Spartanburg Community College and Spartanburg Methodist College. With those, those are close enough to offer you that uh, opportunity for you to come to campus, um, go to our sporting events, use our facilities, and we have uh, extended library hours. We have a 24-hour computer lab, so you can come and access our campus 24-7 um, to take care of the schoolwork that you need. Uh, and we also have partnerships with Piedmont Technical College and Tri-County Technical College. So those are a little bit farther away those may be a little less convenient for you to actually come and utilize and, and be part of our campus as far as you utilizing your student ID and coming to our events. Um, but you're still able to have that access and you also will have that uh, priority advisement and registration appointment and you'll have a free application as long as you've been in that program for a year. So that saves you $45 on our application process and that is the only way to um, void our application fee if you're a transfer student. So we don't have any transfer waivers. 
other than a direct connect waiver or if you were to graduate with your associate's degree um, we can give you an associate's degree fee waiver as well um, other than that if you transfer without your degree uh, or prior to that time with the direct connect program you would pay the 45 dollar application fee uh, so once again you know my name is eric chapman i um, Craig from Winthrop, he'll post a slide with all of our contact information at the end. Um, but you can reach me by email, you can reach me by phone. Um, anytime that you need from 8.30 to 5 Monday through Friday, I would love to talk to you and I'd be happy to answer any of your questions about freshman admissions as well. And then more specifically as, this, as the panel is directed uh, with our direct connect and transfer process. Um, so I, I do appreciate your time and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks. And as Eric said, I'm going to share the information at the end of all of our contact information. So if you have any other questions, reach out to any and all of us. It's a great opportunity for you guys. And I'd just like to welcome you. I am the transfer admissions counselor from Winthrop. My name is Craig Giroux. And I'm going to start today. I have a, a short video that I'd like you to watch that kind of gives you an idea of what uh, Winthrop is all about. Imagine a place where students from all over the world come together with a common goal. A university that rarely has a class with more than 20 students per professor. An institution that was founded on rich history that continues to make its own. A 108-acre campus that sits cozy in the heart of the Carolinas. This is Winthrop University. Home to the Eagles and nearly 6,000 students from over 40 countries who study, develop, and dedicate themselves to pursue their dreams, to become scientists, educators, media professionals, to help create a better world. This once one schoolhouse campus has transformed over the last 130 years, adding over 40 new buildings, including the state-of-the-art West Center, the $12 million Dalton Hall, and the 128,000 square foot De Giorgio Student Center. This university is full of dream makers goal setters, student leaders, those who are known, not just numbers. And not a moment goes by in a student's time at Winthrop that they do not feel appreciated, valued, and a part of this family. A family that supports the artists and their creativity on the stage, in the gallery, and on the screen, and in the games that matter most. And although Winthrop may be small, we are mighty. With 18 NCAA Division I teams, Winthrop has captured over 40 Big South Championship titles and made two trips to the NCAA games. We have impressed those who have come to compete, not only with our presence in the game, but our facilities that house our Eagles. Our Coliseum has been ranked 30th in the nation, and our multi-million dollar ballpark and track hosts national competitions weekly. And when you arrive, prepare to be challenged, to think critically, to consider perspectives that are different than your own to be involved inside and outside the classroom to make the most of your time. The opportunities are endless. From undergraduate research to competitive internships, our classrooms thrive off of hands-on learning. One thing will forever be true. At Winthrop, you will never be alone in your pursuit of excellence. From your first day on campus to your walk across the stage at graduation, these faculty, staff, student mentors, and your peers will cheer you on on tough days, push you to reach your academic goals, and leave you a better person from having been here. And while academic goals are the heart of your time here, the memories you make will be everlasting. From sipping hot apple cider at the fall festival to cheering on your team at Eagle Madness, from tailgates to cornhole tournaments or simply swinging on Scholar's Walk, this place is special. And we invite you to make it your home. Because this is Winthrop University, where you belong.
Okay, I'd like to go ahead and, and tell you a little bit more about Winthrop. You got a kind of overview of the university with that video, uh, but certainly I, there's a lot more to that. Uh, we are a public institution, uh, certainly have about 5,000 undergraduate students, about 1,000 graduate students, so we're probably similar size to USC Upstate. Uh, folks from 36 different countries and uh, well over 40 states. I uh, hope to add Alaska this year because I actually admitted a student from Alaska uh, that was going to transfer. We have about a uh, little over 300 uh, transfer students uh, per year. So out of those 5,000, about 1,200 of them uh, are transfer students. Our admissions process, if you have less than 12 credit hours, we're going to treat you more like a high school student where you're going to give us SAT scores, high school and college transcript. If you have more, 12 or more hours, we're going to uh, demand a minimum requirement of a 2.0 GPA and the high school transcript and the co all college official transcripts from where you're transferring from. Doesn't matter what college or university you certainly pick, uh, you're going to spend more time outside the classroom than you are in. Uh, so what's going on around campus certainly matters. We've got over 160 different student organizations, seven faith-based, many major-based, but most of them are just fun-based. Uh, we've got students uh, that are in our equestrian club that rode horses their whole life and other people that never rode a horse but want to. Uh, there's a club that I know I would not be a part of. There's a skydiving club uh, that has a faculty sponsor that skydives with them. Um, not really what, I don't like roller coasters, so skydiving probably out of the, out of the thing. We do have 19 different fraternities and sororities on campus. We're about 12% Greek. If you're interested in joining a fraternity or sorority, certainly we have that at Winthrop, uh, but we are, um, you don't have to be part of Greek life in order to fit in at Winthrop. We have over 50 intramural sports and clubs and events. Uh, this is a special way for students to meet people uh, that aren't from their hometown. Um, and, and certainly transfer students, you guys have already kind of been through college. We found that our transfer students participate at a higher rate than even our first year freshmen. Um, you don't have to be an athlete to participate in this. We have something in our indoor pool uh, with kayaks that is called Battleship. You can imagine some people are going to get wet. We are Division I uh, in sports in the Big South Conference. Uh, the video said that we were to go to the dance twice. Actually, we qualified about four days before COVID uh, by winning the conference championship last year. Our arena uh, that houses our volleyball and men's and women's basketball is rated 30th in the country. Um, it And it's a great uh, time at Winthrop. We have not only men's and women's basketball, softball, baseball, uh, men's and women's track, men's and women's soccer, golf, uh, and also women's lacrosse. I think our location is very unique for a lot of different universities. We're located in Rock Hill, South Carolina, that is the fifth largest city in South Carolina, but if you've been in our, our, our city, uh, at any time, it's really got a small town feel to it. Uh, you can see that uh, we have, over on the right, we have a town square. If you have a town square, you must be a small town, yet we're not necessarily a small town. But we're also located just 30 minutes south of Charlotte, a major city. So for our students, with the fifth largest city in South Carolina, just south of Charlotte, and one word, what, what helps them is internships. We have many uh, more requests for interns and we have interns to give them. So you're gonna get a perfect uh, internship that you're looking for. Uh, great internships lead to employment. And I think all of us on the panel here would agree today, degrees without jobs is not what we're after. A lot of good information here. I think the bottom two 
Uh, bubbles are the most important, what we call the Winthrop Experience 13 to 1 student faculty ratio. Average class size is 22. So what that means is your professor is going to know your name. It also means if you miss class, there's a chance they might email you. So uh, our professors are quite involved with our students. If you see a professor around campus and wave, they're going to be able to wave back and know your name. We have a number of different uh, colleges. We have five of them, the Colleges of Arts and Science. You can see some of the uh, majors that we have. Certainly, you'd expect biology, chemistry. Uh, political science is, is, is a very active uh, major for us. If you are watching during these presidential times, uh, you could see the Winthrop Poll. The Winthrop Poll is 100% uh, run by our students. They get paid to make the calls. Uh, and although COVID has shut down things uh, quite a bit, the last presidential cycle, uh, we had 12 different presidential candidates uh, during the time uh, they came onto our campus and talked to our students. Business is certainly one of our biggest majors, and I think it has to do with our location close to Charlotte. Uh, most popular majors, uh, certainly with our accounting program and economics program, just to name a few. Education is probably our top program at Winthrop. We opened 133 years ago as a teacher's college. That was 30 years after the Civil War ended. And when somebody said that, I said, wow, that's, that's incredible. And we opened uh, to create teachers uh, to educate the South and help rebuild the South. Um, Certainly, our education program is quite strong. If you have any elementary school, middle school, or high school in the area, you're going to find a number of Winthrop teachers. College of Visual Performing Arts, we're one of 17 universities in the nation that has five different areas here, art, uh, dance, design, music, and theater. In that, uh, the area for all of our students, uh, we do give talent-based scholarships that usually require uh, either auditions uh, or portfolios. University College is our last college, and it, it gives no uh, degrees, no bachelor's degrees at all. But it's set up to help our students students that have undeclared majors. Most transfer students have a declared major, but some of them uh, at the end of the first semester will say, maybe that's not quite what I want. And I always tell my students to run to university college and they'll certainly assist you in uh, finding another direction that can utilize the credits that you've already achieved. Uh, academic uh, success center is certainly very important, and, and we're going to see more of that in just a second. We have a writing center, a math center, uh, and an academic uh, success center that's free to all students. This is also free to our bridge program. We are bridge partners with York Tech uh, College. York Tech College is about five minutes from our campus, uh, so students certainly can come in and utilize any of those areas, they're going to get a Winthrop ID. They can go to sporting events. Uh, they can get help. We also tell our transfer students, a lot of transfer students come strong in math uh, or strong in writing. Uh, a way to make a little extra money while you're on campus is we hire our students to tutor other students, uh, ones that are certainly uh, very good in those areas. So that might be something that you're interested in. So how am I going to pay for this? This is where students certainly are looking for all the scholarships uh, that they can. Our bridge students receive a bridge scholarship. Our transfer students, if you have a 3.0 or above, uh, are going to also receive uh, scholarships. If we happen to have a student that is an out-of-state student and you receive any scholarship, we are going to waive the out-of-state tuition. Uh, and that's a big deal for a lot of our students. Um, we talked briefly about uh, the talent-based scholarship. Certainly, uh, we are able to stack a lot of money for a lot of transfer students to attend Winthrop. So why Winthrop? Well, we're one of the top 10 public universities in the South. Uh, I believe we're up to six. That just came out uh, with uh, the US News 
and World Report. Uh, we've been one of the top 10 public universities in the South since 1993. So we've been that for a long time. Second in the nation for minor minority student achievement, something we're real proud of. And the third one I think hits home because 91% of student placement rate in career after graduation, uh, again, uh, degrees without jobs is not something that anybody is interested in. Most diverse student population uh, in South Carolina. Our bridge program at your tech sets our students up for success. Uh, they're on campus, they're participating in things. Uh, we work uh, closely with uh, York Tech and we've created a number of pathways. So as our students start there, they're gonna be given, depending on their major, uh, pathways of classes to take that 100% sure that those classes are gonna count when they transfer to Winthrop. Um, they're able to get tutoring, they're able to be on class, uh, their College 101 class uh, is actually uh, takes many, many times will visit uh, Winthrop and we have a special College 101 class at York Tech that is just made up of bridge students. So I thank you for listening to me today. Um, certainly we have uh, the information from each of our contact information for each of us. I don't know if we have anybody on the uh, on the panel today, students, uh, that have any questions, but I know they're recording this panel, and if that's something that uh, uh, you, you get a chance to view and you have a question for uh, any of us, please reach out to us. I, I know in my situation, um, a lot of times email is one of the best ways to get an answer for me. Uh, and, and many times with our students that works best too, because when we respond, uh, and, and I'll let the others talk about this briefly, when we respond, uh, you have something in writing that you can look back at later and, and, and confirm that. Is it that way for you also, Eric? Yeah, that, that really works really well, it, having an a email, especially, you know, this year's a little different for all of us because we're normally on the road recruiting. Um, so email is, you know, a lot easier in the in that sense of things. But to have a, an email that we can go back to to refer to our conversation uh, at a later date and um, not having to fight through voicemails and emails. But, of course, if you want to talk, uh, talk to me, you know, you can give me a call. You can leave me a voicemail. I'll return your call. Uh, and we do enjoy, this is what we do for a living, and we enjoy talking to you and getting to know you, um, so we do enjoy uh, getting to talk to you on the phone as well, but email is just, you know, we're living in a technological age, so it's a really quick way for uh, anybody to get in touch with me as well. How about down at Coker? Yeah, it's the same for us as well. Definitely shoot me an email if you have any questions or concerns. Um, we all students are able to also text me at that number as well. And as long as it's within um, office, you know, regular business hours, I'll, I'll pretty much respond right away because I do understand some students don't like, you know, talking on the phone and they would much rather prefer to text. So that's an option um, available to you as well. How about if somebody's interested in, in, in a bridge program at, at Coker, how do they become part of that bridge program? Um, well, students are able to become a part of our bridge program um, after they complete their degree at the technical institution. So um, we encourage them to apply to Coker within that last semester um, and just send over their um, their transcript, which reflects that they are on course to graduate within that semester. Um, and then they are granted admissions and then they are assigned a student success coach who will be their point of contact throughout their entire tenure at Coker. So those are valuable resources. Those um, success coaches assist students with um, registering for classes. Um, they provide uh, counseling, whatever the student needs. They are wonderful and valuable resources to our uh, bridge students. Eric, how did somebody become part of the Direct Connect program at USC Upstate? 
Yeah, so to become part of our Direct Connect program um, for many of our partner schools, as I mentioned previously, with Greenville Tech, uh, Spartanburg Methodist College, the Spartanburg Community College, Piedmont Tech, or Tri-County Tech, uh, you can fill out a Direct Connect form directly with uh, the transfer counselor, but um, those uh, partner schools in particular do have a Direct Connect uh, counselor that you can contact at their school and their information if you type in direct connect on any of our partner schools website will give you their contact information so you fill that out with your school they'll send us your they, direct connect form and we'll enroll you in their program. Yeah, Hogney, are you still there yes Did we lose Craig? I think we may have. Yeah, I was having internet issues as well. Um, is that is that the end of y'all's presentation? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna share my screen real quick. Okay, guys. Uh, for the attendees joining this uh, presentation, uh, once again. Uh, you'll be able to uh, see this recording at www.cacro.org. Um, you you can you also can visit the CACRO website to sign up for more sessions as well. Um, you will be asked to just to take a quick survey once this uh, uh, session is completed. Um, but yes, please reach out to the attendees with their uh, Viva email or phone calls. Okay. Do y'all have any last words? Are y'all good to go? All right. Y'all have a good day. All right. Thanks. You too.